Cześć, dzień dobry. Co słychać? Mam nadzieję, że wszystko dobrze u Was. Zapraszam na lekcję. This video is there to help you with pronunciation of vowel sounds in Polish. So we'll have a closer look at those letters. A, E, I, E. I know that some learners of Polish have trouble recognizing the sounds, in particular when they are at the end of the word. So I will try to help you deal with this. We also have a quiz where you can check if you recognize each sound at the end of the word. Let's begin then. Zaczynajmy. So let's talk about some vowels that are difficult for, for a lot of learners to recognize in Polish words. I'm going to help you by giving an English example word. Let's begin then with A. So letter A is always pronounced in Polish in the same way, which is A. And an example of an English word which has, which has a similar sound would be fast. A, the letter A. It's quite an open sound. Ah, probably an English sound is slightly deeper, but it's the most similar I can think of. And then an example of a Polish word, mama, or mum. Another letter, e, e. And an example of an English word, bet. And a Polish word that has letter e, mleko, mleko. And now letter i is pronounced in Polish as E. E. Similar to an English vowel sound, for example, in the word bean. And an example of a Polish word ending with the sound mieli or byli. Byli. Mieli. And the next one, a uh, letter Y, an English word that has a similar sound would be a bin. So one more time, notice E as in bean and E as in a bin. And a Polish example of a word, mały, mały. Or another one, mamy, mamy. Let's take a look at one Polish adjective that might have three different endings, Y, E and A, depending which gender of a noun is following. By the way, we're talking about noun genders in this video there. All right, then the example is dobry, dobry, dobra, dobre, dobra książka, dobra książka, dobry człowiek, dobry człowiek, dobre śniadanie, dobre śniadanie. All right then, time for a quiz. I'm going to say a word, an adjective, with one of those endings. See if you recognize which one it is. Numer jeden. Mały. Mały. Yes, it's this one. And, and in an example, mały samochód. Numer dwa. Duże. Duże. Which one is it going to be? Na przykład duże dziecko. Duże dziecko. Next one. Which one am I saying now? Miła. Miła. Miła kobieta. Miła kobieta. Numer cztery. Ładne. Ładne. Which one is it going to be? Ładne mieszkanie. Ładne mieszkanie. Numer pięć. Stary. 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 Na przykład stary dom. Numer sześć. Duża. Duża. What, what's at the end there? Duża. Duża. Na przykład 
Duża kawa. Numer 7. Mili. 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 Na przykład mili ludzie. Mili ludzie. Numer 8. Miły. 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 Na przykład miły człowiek. Miły człowiek. Numer 9. Mała. 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 Na przykład mała dziewczynka. Numer 10. Dobre. 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 Na przykład dobre śniadanie. O, remember, you can use the word dobre for plural if it's not a masculine noun describing people. So, dobre dzieci. Dobre dzieci. I hope that has been helpful. Let us know in the comments how well you scored and if it has been helpful for you at all. To wszystko. Do zobaczenia. Cześć!